1924, Tennessee passed the Butler Act. The law prohibited the teaching of any theory that denies the story of the divine creation of man as taught in the Bible. John Scopes, a 24-year-old high school science teacher in Dayton, Tennessee, objected to the law. With support from the American Civil Liberties Union, he taught his students Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. When word got out, Scopes was arrested and immediately brought to trial. The courtroom became a battleground between fundamentalists who believed in a literal reading of the Bible and Darwinists who championed the application of modern science. The trial turned into a media circus. Besides every tabloid covering the event, it was the first trial ever to be nationally broadcast on the radio. The courtroom overflowed with people wanting to catch a glimpse of this historic trial. In a carnival-like atmosphere, vendors sold hot dogs, Bibles, soda pop, and fans to relieve the audience from the scorching July heat. The ACLU hired esteemed lawyer Clarence Darrow to represent Scopes. Clarence Darrow is an interesting figure. He starts out as an attorney uh, who works for railroads and works for big business. He later has a change of heart and becomes, as the title of one book would have, an attorney for the damned. That is to say, an attorney for those people who are being oppressed, an attorney for those people who are being attacked. He's essentially a socialist. He's a great defender of the labor movement. And in a sense, his battle with, with uh, William Jennings Bryan, the Scopes Monkey Trial, is a battle between two different tendencies within America. Three-time presidential nominee and hero of the common people, William Jennings Bryan, led the battle for the fundamentalists. He was an ardent prohibitionist, and he was also, of course, a literalist, fundamentalist in, in the scripture. And so he was very interested in, he was against the theory of evolution and the teachings of it, all this modernism, and he was for keeping basic core values. Scopes was found guilty, but only received a $100 fine. Although Bryan was victorious in the trial, Darrow won the war. He called Bryan to the witness stand and made him look foolish during a lengthy cross-examination. Bryan affirmed his belief that Eve had been created from Adam's rib and that a whale swallowed Jonah. But that trial, while it's not even that significant in the scheme of things, it's kind of significant about what that decade was about. A struggle against modernity, a struggle against change, kind of this rural white Anglo-Saxon culture being replaced by a much more pluralistic society. Symbolic of the closure of the old era, five days after the trial, William Jennings Bryan died of a heart attack. 